by chance, this was going back to beginning of 2019. So we're having a, you know, we put together a list of like, who don't we talk to? Who haven't we reached? Um, we've been around for seven years. Fast forward like 10 days after that conversation. And I am at a conference in Chicago with a colleague of mine. We spoke on the second to last panel. So the room wasn't that full, but people in the manufacturing, food manufacturing industry definitely want to like work with Blue Apron. So we had people coming up to us, handing us business cards, give me a call, give me a call, yada, yada, yada. Gentleman walks up to us. He says, hi, I just wanted to thank you for your product. And we kind of stopped and we said, oh, you're welcome. Um, sure, but do you, I guess you use it. And he said, you know, you might not know this, but um, there are a lot of veterans who find value in what you do because it allows them to reconnect with their family. And the guys in my unit use it to stay in touch with each other about something that's not the trauma of battle. And I think I'm a pretty composed person, but I was about 10 seconds away from just hugging him and crying. And we also were like, we had our bags with us, like we were headed to the airport. And I just looked at him and I was like, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your service. I appreciate the kind words. I didn't even get his name. I just, I was like, I was floored. Like here's someone who's telling me what I do every day is helping him not only reconnect with his family after being away from them, which is a tremendous sacrifice for everyone involved, but then has now used it and he's recommending it to the guys in his unit. He, it was a real moment of honesty on his part, and we came back, you know, to work the next day and sat down and we said, listen, one of our service members just told us that he has used Blue Apron as a way to reacclimate to life after war and actively stays in touch with his unit not talking about like remember the night here or there but hey did you guys make that chicken dish this week what'd you think 